Get some pliers to see if it'll come out. I think it's just welding itself to these slats is the deal that slat coming in there. There you go, Mr. Pragmatically. Now, I'm not hiding any of this secret crap. You've seen how bad my days go trying to see. It's not very hot, but that does retain some heat. That's all the slag that remains. I'll get you up here so you can see. That's how clean it is. That is. I can't feel nothing with my fingernail. The only spot is probably where that's uh, close to that slap, which, let's see if you can see what I'm doing. I'm just, just pop that. Can't hardly hit it. Look at that. If I could, there you go. That's really all. There's a little tiny spot right there. If I had a little scraper, I could just pop that out of the way, but... Anyway, there ain't nothing there to speak of. There's a little tiny spot there. There it is. So, here's the edge quality. That's probably where it either started or stopped, or maybe where that had that problem when it stopped on us earlier. Looks pretty smooth everywhere. That one little spot there, and there is all... And that's probably a fault of my own. The edge is fairly true. It looks pretty true. It's got a little bit of a taper. Well, anyway, that's just because I don't know what I'm doing, probably. Anyway, Mr. Lee, uh, I'll get this in the mail to you real soon. Hopefully this afternoon, but I don't know. I've got to be back at work in a minute, and I'll see if I can... See if the boss is watching me. <laughs> he don't really care. But uh, I got some pretty cool stuff yesterday. These are some of the words that come out of that wrench side. Here's a wrench that was left off of it. That's why this crap's like uh, This is a screw up I had the other day on an OU sign. That it messed up on me. I, I messed up, you know what I'm saying? machine's a lot smarter than I am. Anyway, I just want to show you that in action, and uh, I haven't put a YouTube video out in quite a while, because I've been real nervous and trying to study this stuff and learn it, learn a lot of CAD programs. I've got probably three or four different CAD programs I've been studying. I've learned a lot. I really have. It's been a lot of fun. Gary Ramsey's been excellent helping me. Uh, Mr. Carlisle that owns this company of Crew Cut CNC. Uh, him and Cindy are excellent. The whole supporters on their group have been excellent. This thing is noisy. I'm going to cut it off. It's just cooling down. It's okay. I didn't run that much. Anyway, this whole family of Crew Cut CNC owners and uh, Gary Ramsey, Ross, and Cindy Carlisle are excellent. Mr. Peden, I appreciate everything you do on your videos. Uh, pragmatically. I hope to see everyone out at the, what's the name of the, the Good of the Land, I think is the name of the channel, but Adam Booth and Mr. Uh, Amateur Redneck, uh, Harold, and a bunch of guys. Uh, Gary Coot, I'm sure, will be there. He lives in that area. They're going to have a meet and greet at that museum there, and uh, I don't remember the name. I'm getting really bad about remembering stuff, but anyway, it's a uh, East Texas, North Tyler area. Not hard to find. Watch Adam Booth's videos. You'll see him talk about it among others. And anyway, Lee, I wanted to get this done. I mean, we talked about this yesterday, late af yesterday afternoon, about this time. I wanted to get this cut. Uh, let's measure. Burn 
real quick. I didn't even measure what we end up with. Uh, good grief. I had a What are we measuring the bicycle? We may have to resort to a measuring table. I hear it. It's not a steric, I don't think, but it's something similar to it. It's old. It says tempered, made in USA. I don't have my glasses on. I'm going to measure it as close as I can by. Lee, it looks like we're dead on seven inches according to that. Best of my blind eyes right now, I can see. That looks like seven inches. Let's flip it over and see what it measures. I think we hit it closely. Uh, I can't see any measurable difference on that scale looking between 100,000 marks. But anyway, there you go. Seven inch circle with a true cut XT 4x8 machine running a Hypertherm 45 XP. And that's all I got for you today. And y'all be safe out there. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.